Hi there, Leafs Nation. I know it's been a while since Brian Burke has signed any players to the Toronto Maple Leafs or made any contract extensions, but today the Toronto Maple Leafs have re-signed forward Andre DeVoe to a one-year contract extension. Now, Andre DeVoe, as everybody knows, uh, spent the time last year with the Leafs and the Marlies. Uh, he was acquired from the Chicago Wolves. Uh, and also, he is a tough guy who can also fight and score some goals. I know he hasn't scored very many goals last year, but he's Brian Burke's kind of player, so he re-signed them. Anyhow, uh, for those Leaf fans who are living in London, Ontario, or near London, Ontario, uh, the Toronto Maple Leafs and the Philadelphia Flyers will have a preseason game at the John Levatt Centre, uh, which is home to the London Knights. Uh, the tickets are going to go on sale July 27th, and the game is going to be on September 17th. Uh, the tickets are going to go for $46 to $96, plus taxes and something called a facility fee. I, I really don't know what that is. Um, also, um, I have a couple of questions. First of all, um, the Pavel Kabina Stapleton XLB Stewart trade. Why didn't Brian Burke make that trade at the trade deadline instead of the free agency signings, uh, at least on July 1st? And I've noticed that Brian Burke has had a conference to announce the signing of Jonas Gustafsson, but why hasn't he had a conference to announce the signings of Colton Noor, Mike Commissarek? and Francois Boschman. I mean, I would like to actually buy a Mike Commissaire jersey, but the thing is, because he hasn't been inaugurated, uh, there's no jerseys available at the Air Canada Centre, or Centre Sports, or anywhere else in Toronto yet. But Also, I just wanted to mention to you guys that don't worry about the Toronto Maple Leafs. A lot of people predict that they're going to do good this year. In fact, NHL.com says that the Toronto Maple Leafs are one of the top ten teams on the rise, in which case they rank as seventh. And ESPN predicts that the Toronto Maple Leafs will finish eighth in the standings, uh, meaning that we will get the final spot in the NHL playoffs this year. But that's just ESPN's prediction. I'm sure there are more predictions to come. Also, if you guys look at the schedule and you find February a bit shorter than the other months uh, in terms of regular season scheduling, it's because there is going to be a break uh, for the last half of February for the Winter Olympics in 2010 in Vancouver, which is going to start around Valentine's Day and end on March 1st. Or at least that's when the uh, NHL regular season will continue. So, also I noticed on the schedule that the Toronto Maple Leafs puck drop uh, at the Air Canada Centre is T-71 days away. And I can't wait to see the Toronto Maple Leafs pound the Habs into the ice. So, go Leafs, go! Go Leafs, go! Go Leafs, go!